boy. Mm. <laughs> Hope y'all ready for a story today. Story time Sundays, which may man Dame drops. For those of you that are new to Story Time Sunday, I just started, and I do have a continuation of our original story from last Sunday, but this story needs to fit into its algorithm as of right now. YouTube algorithm is always up and down, so you have to change how you move and how you do your content in order to stay within the algorithm, so you guys actually get to see it. A title like, I Was Robbed, and then giving you the story and the visuals to the story should definitely put us back into the algorithm where it favors the channel and then you actually get to see the rest of my food reviews. <laughs> oh, <sighs> I guess there's nowhere to start but at the beginning. I suppose to tell the story of when I was robbed working for Renner Center in Bridgeport, Connecticut is to literally take you guys there. So we're about to go back to 2009. Renner Center on Fairfield Avenue in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Just as I thought, fam, now it is a same daycare. I, this used to actually be the Renner Center where I began my official, I guess, first day of learning to be a manager. I started out in a Danbury store, and then from Danbury, they actually transferred me over here so I can get ready to take on my own store. So I went in for the management program, Renner Center was, it was again, an interesting job to work for. Handling the customers, because these customers actually come in. You don't have to worry about really having any type of credit whatsoever. You just need to have some references that are going to vouch for you. And of course, anybody that you know close to you will vouch for you so you could actually acquire the furniture and the appliances that you need. And the craziest part was, a lot of times, more than not, individuals would just kind of come in, sign up, grab what they needed, <laughs> have you deliver it to where they live, and that same week they were moving out anyway, so you would never know where it is that they would actually be. There were just so many things that happened at Renner Center. But what I want to do now is get into the story of that ugly day when your boy was robbed. Now, I'm probably about a week in, a week in of working here. I went to Bank of America with the other woman that was showing me the route maybe once or twice. So now we're gonna take that route to Bank of America so we can get into the story. It gets a little crazy. All right, y'all, so this is me leaving Renner Center over here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the route that I would take to actually drop the money off in the morning at Bank of America. And this is also not to say that Bridgeport is a bad place, it's not. Bridgeport gets a bad rap, but I know areas that are worse than Bridgeport. So don't think if you don't live in Connecticut that coming to Bridgeport isn't a good look for you. Bridgeport's fine, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Bridgeport is just like any other city, man. You have those areas that are good areas, and then you're gonna have some sketchy areas. I wouldn't recommend going to them sketchy areas at night if you don't know what you're there for. Again, the money drops always happen first thing in the morning, so you don't really think or suspect anybody to really be watching or paying attention, but just like with anything, if you hard up for cash, and this looks like an opportunity to run up on somebody and put them in a heavy two-piece without the biscuit? That's what people are doing. Bridgeport doesn't look like the spot where you're just going to ride through and get hit up at any given moment. And right now, we're actually on North Avenue, heading over to the Bank of America on Main Street. So we're going to take this bad boy all the way up. The cool thing about North Ave, I remember... There was another dude that I used to work with at Renner Center in Bridgeport. His name was Angel. A little short Hispanic dude, yo. Me and Angel would have so much fun out on the road making collections. I can talk about these stories now because I don't work for Renner Center no more. And I have no intention on going back. Working for Renner Center, a lot of shady business would be happening, fam. And when I say a lot of shady business, and I'm not naming no names of who did what, when, why, where, how, because it don't matter now. But then, family... Let me tell y'all something. When you had to make a collection, make a pickup, and somebody didn't have the money, folks was offering up the cheeks. Now, I know what Renner Center you were working for, but I do know some individuals that if they went to go pick up furniture and or whatever the case may have been, customer would actually answer the door in some lingerie. And look, I ain't got the money, but I got some cheeks. And sometimes employees would take the cheeks over the money. 
that was on that, yo, forget this little funky job. I'm getting the cheeks. However, me, I was, I was always about my money, man. I wasn't about uh, clapping up no cheeks. I ain't trying to sit there and risk my job. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the bag. Making my way downtown, walking fast, chasing cash, and I'm homebound. Da -da 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 for those that live in the area, I'm sure you're quite familiar with everything that you're seeing right now. Fam, we're almost to our destination. What we're gonna do right now is go ahead and take this left over here at Walgreens. All right, y'all, I don't know if you can see it, but literally right here, this building is the Bank of America where I would have to do my cash drops for Rena Center. Now, the route deal was when you did your cash drops, you're supposed to park right here in the front of Bank of America, but it was filled up like this, so I couldn't park up front. So I basically had to go around the block and actually park in the bank's parking lot. So boom, I took a right right here. Plot out. All right. And I believe it's this street right here, if I'm not mistaken. I took another right. But boop, boop. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Even though this is 2009, it is all coming back like it just happened yesterday. All right, y'all. Now, here's the bank parking lot. So, I pulled in. Boom. Just like so. Bank is right there. Did my normal. I backed into this space right here. Let me just go ahead and back in. Plow. And this is where we begin our story. All right, y'all. So, you know, I got to get out of the truck. And as you guys can see, man, this isn't a massive park lot or nothing like that. I didn't see anybody out here, to be honest with you. Maybe there's like one or two cars parked out here, but that was about it. So I'm taking this path right here. When I get to about here, while I'm walking, I hear, hey, yo, my man, and whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still walking, I'm still doing my thing. You know what I mean? Yo, I kid y'all not. My man must have ran up on me, because I got right about here, right, literally right about here, y'all. And then everything changed. And my man, hold up, where you going? So now, <laughs> I'm standing about here, talking to homeboy. So I'm gonna see if I can pretty much remember this conversation. Like, yo, what up, yo? My man had his hand in his pocket like this. Had a hoodie on. Now, he was a little heavy set brother, you know what I'm saying? Hispanic dude, whatever. Had a little hoodie on. Here's the thing, this is the point where he's like, run the bag. Now, he's saying run the bag with his hand in his pocket. So I'm like, man, whatever, turn around. I start walking. He was like, yo, stop moving. Stop moving. It's going to get ugly. Boom, turn back around. I'm like, yo, what up? Now, that's when he takes this rusty hammer out, son. Now, I ain't got nothing in my hand, you know what I'm saying? YouTube purposes and all. But he's like, look, I want to hit you over this money. Just give me the bag. I'm going to go about my business. I'm like, yo, you really trying to rob me right now, son? Now, mind you, he got the, he got the hammer out on me. I'm like, you really trying to rob me right now, son? He's like, yo, just run me the bag. Go about your business. I ain't dying over nobody's money. You know what I'm saying? So boom, hand my man <laughs> that little cash bag. And now I'm making it. He's gone. He's like, now he's about just taking off. He runs away, whatever. And I'm like, damn, just lost the company's money like that. Now let me slide up in the bank. We'll talk to a teller, see if they got an officer in there, whatever, right? Pow. Bam. I turn back around and start make, making my way up off over here. Here's the gangster part. Here's the, here's the part that got real gangster to me. All right, so y'all see where the stoplight is, right? Happy Deli Markets over there. There was an officer that was parked over there. I didn't even see him. I would have had to flag my man down. So boom. I'm walking, 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 right? Entrance to the bank is right over here in the side piece. So bye. I make my way inside the bank. Here's the gangster part, B. I sat there and I gave these people my full, complete story, how I just got robbed, this, that, and the third. And of course, I, you know, I called up my manager at Renner Center, told her what happened. She sent my boy Ponch down. Ponch came through and we were sitting up over here. The cops finally came up over, gave him the whole entire story, right? The cops was like, you know what I'm saying? Show me exactly where you were at. So, wow, made my way right back over to exactly where I was at. Boop, 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 boop. And it was about maybe, three officers that were with me when we walked right back up off over here again. Right back off over to the hot spot again where your boy got hit up for his bread. Bam, right here, you know what I'm saying? 
telling the officers exactly what happened. And now I'm like, yo, maybe the outdoor cameras caught something. Because if you can see, family, there's a camera right in that corner. Right in that corner up off over there, yo. So hopefully the camera caught a little something. Um, they were saying that the camera wasn't facing this particular area of the parking lot. What the hell the camera looking at then, dog? Because all you have is the pull-up drive-through right here. So was the camera just facing the cars that were pulling up over here instead of facing the parking lot where all the activity is going down? I couldn't believe that right there, man. That, that right there just threw me off. But anyway, so I'm sitting there talking to the officer. Officer's like, can you give me a description of the individual that robbed you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Now me, I'm about 6'6 six, six now. At the time, let's say I was 6'5", I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe an inch smaller, but wh whatever, it don't matter. I'm like, look, my man was roughly about 170, 180 pounds, a heavy set Hispanic male, had on a brown hoodie, black baggy pants, and I don't know what type of gun that was that my man pulled out on me, but it was a hammer all the same. All right, bet. Cops get off into their car, they go away, right? Now, my boy Ponch is already out here. I'm still out here, you know what I'm saying, just talking to him. He's like, dude, don't worry about it. <clears throat> we'll file a report when we get back, blah, blah, blah. Are you good? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm straight, dog. Um, yo, it was, just, it was a rough situation, a nerve-wracking situation. Boy, it was just the heart was pumping. You get a lot of adrenaline going when somebody got a gun to you. You get a lot, you get a lot of adrenaline going. But I would say roughly 35 minutes, 40 minutes, the cops come back, right? And what they bring me is nothing of what I described. Officer Friendly and the boys <laughs> bring back a Hispanic male. They got that part right. They, got, they brought back a Hispanic male. My man was about 120 pounds soaking wet. I done told you 170 to 180. This is a, a heavier brother right here. The dude was about the same height and everything, but he was so much lighter than the dude that hit me up. All right, officer, y'all you, done played yourself. Such a waste of time, man. So that's the story of how I got robbed working for Renner Center. And uh, <laughs> again, man, if you guys want more stories, more story time on Sundays, slap a like on this video. Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know. Hey, Dame, stop playing games. We need more story time, family. And I'll bring you more story times on Sunday, man. Oh, and I already know that uh, the algorithm is all messed up for a lot of channels, not just mine. So uh, if you see this, definitely hit me in the comment section. Like, Dame, I got the video. And then put a thumbs up on that. All right, y'all, I'm getting out of here, man. I'm hungry. Freshness of the salmon is what really brings you in. It's saying you just bit into something magnificent. I started doing food reviews in my car around 2009, and then my life changed. I'll go just about anywhere to get some good food. I'm only here for one reason and one reason only. That is to devour. That's looking real good right there. Every bite has to be an experience. And I'm gonna take you for that experience. You too. Mm. I'm the captain now. You know I'm not leaving until I tell you what my favorite fried food in the city ooh, is. Ooh, ooh. It hits all the spots. What I'm looking for is some good chicken and waffles. Let me tell you about this chicken. Mommy, chicken dry? It's dry, we don't want it. So you talking juicy, juicy? It's got to be juicy. Is this what you do? I mean, this is what do we do? Boom, boom, all over the place. Boom, boom, in my face. It's the most decadent burger that we have ever made. Starts with one pound of Wagyu on there, truffle cheese, gold billionaire bacon on top, big lobster, yeah. gold dusted bun. It is the best burger you will ever have. You need a burger to have in a moment. All right, enjoy your burger. All I need for you to do for me is keep it crispy. I had to kiss it. I had to kiss it. Just give me a moment. I have moments with my food. I Just... love you, man. This is fresh, fried, and crispy. Want to know why I call it a hush puppy? Did you hear me say anything while I was chewing it? 